Hi, my name is Ed Loftus. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I specialize in the care of patients with uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And I'm here to talk to you about a recently published study in the American Journal of Gastroenterology looking at the risk of pneumonia in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Now, at first glance, you would wonder why would patients with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis be more likely to get pneumonia? Um, and I think there are a few potential factors. One is that um, having a chronic inflammatory disorder that affects your immune system might make you more susceptible to getting infections itself. Uh, number two, um, there's a thought that there might be systemic inflammation in the lungs and that might make you more susceptible to getting an infection. And number three, some of the medications that we use to treat Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis might increase susceptibility to getting pneumonia. So this was a large insurance claims database study, so they're actually looking at billing codes and extrapolating from there. But it looked at almost 5,000 patients with inflammatory bowel disease and almost 19,000 patients without inflammatory bowel disease, and then followed them through the insurance claims for evidence of billing codes for pneumonia. And they found that the rate of pneumonia in patients with IBD was about 0.14 percent per year. And if you do the math, you're talking about basically a 1 in 700 chance of getting pneumonia. And that sounds fairly low, but that rate is actually double what it was in the 20,000 patients or, or so who didn't have IBD. So roughly the risk of getting pneumonia if you have IBD is double that of the general population. The risk was higher in patients with Crohn's disease and it was higher in patients on certain medications including corticosteroids, narcotics, and the anti-TNF agents. So I think the bottom line here is if you have inflammatory bowel disease you should be getting an annual flu vaccine, not the flu mist, the flu shot, and you should also be th seriously thinking about getting the pneumonia vaccine, also known as Pneumovax, and especially if you're on immunosuppressive medication, you probably want to get that uh, redone every five years or so. Thank you.